Hey YouTube! So today I got my package. Um, I got my package from HSN. I bought it a couple days ago, la like less than a week ago. Well, yeah, a week ago. Um, and anyway, so I just got it. Um, for you guys who don't know, I bought the cuddle bug. So I am so excited to show it, do an open box review. To be honest, I already opened it and did a like perfect open box review and it's too long so I can't upload it thanks YouTube so I'm gonna do it again um so it's just pretty much I haven't used anything it's pretty much all opened already but I could still show you guys and I'm still just as excited so here we go so first thing is is the plate the plate that you put the um other two plates on and the pretty cartridge or template whatever you want to call it so there's that I mean it's simple um yeah so there's that and then the two clear plates I was seeing if they have the dimensions on them but they don't which it doesn't matter fits my cuddle bug um and also another thing this is the HSN exclusive Annie Griff and Griffin um so it's not just the regular um, cuddle bug. So um, you might not be able to find some of these cartridges online or um, at like Joann's, Michael's, Craft Warehouse where they normally sell these. Um, I because it is an HSN and Griffin exclusive. So okay, so the first one is this one. I was seeing the name, but I can't find the name. So that one's a really pretty, um, kind of like a wallpaper. Victorian type wallpaper. So that's that one. Um, here is this flower one. There is this plaid one. Uh, let's see. Another plate, clear platelet. Okay, and then there's this one. This is kind of like paisley type stuff. Super pretty, super cute. I'm so excited. I've wanted one of these for a long time, so I'm super excited that I finally bought one. Okay, this one is kind of like a wicker basket um, or kind of like that metal um, machinery type um, design. I don't know if you can really see it. Yeah, up close it looks like wicker basket, but um, first glance it reminded me of like the metal um, stuff. Like um, when you go to Home Depot, um, you see the metal things. I don't know what they're called right the second. I'm just too excited, I can't even think. That's what it reminded me first of. And I just dropped them. Good thing my floor is soft. So okay, this one is like squares. But it's kind of like two dotted line squares. Super cute. We'll add some dimensions to some of the planer paper. There's this one. This is like um, big sunflower type design. There's this cute heart one. Perfect for Valentine's Day that's coming up. And then, oh here's some more. I do believe there's 21 of these. I can't remember, which is pretty bad since I bought it. But I'm just so excited I forgot how many. So here is this rose one. Um, Yeah, it's like rose and vines and leaves. It's super cute, super girly. And then now here are the smaller ones. This one is kind of, I haven't decided what this is. It's like, it reminds me of snowflakes. Like these look like snowflakes to me. But then these ones are heart, or not hearts, they're flowers. So it's kind of like a, it could be like a winter one or like just an everyday one. It's really, really cute. So here's a dotted line one. Super cute. Here's a cross brick 
or weave with kind of like a, a diamond in the middle, I guess. There is this one. I don't really know how to describe this one except the design. It's just really cool. And I don't know why, but they attached these squares, which is what you saw in the middle, to um, these one to these. Some they are some of them are the same name, but they look totally different from each other. I don't really think they go together, but yeah, it's like this. It they attached them all together. I don't. Yeah. So I took them off because they don't go like that. They won't go through the machine like that. I really don't. I think it's just a packaging to make it more efficient, um, cleaner. Oh, okay. So this one is a bird and like a bird in a tree type one. So cute. And then I think I dropped one. I think I dropped. Oh, this is what I dropped. Okay, so here are the longer border ones. So this one, I'm sorry, guys. I should have taken this off. They're so sticky. Okay, there's that one. That one's really cute. There's this one. Which is just a line with the diamond in it. Which I guess this one does match its mate. But for the most part, the rest of them don't really match. This one is flowers on leaves. Really cute. The next one is like a circle design. Um, I don't know. It's just really simple, but really inter not intricate. It's just really pretty, simple, perfect, really for anything. So make it pop. The next thing is this rose one, which is going to be so pretty. I don't know if you guys can see this. Let's see if I open it. Oh my gosh, I don't know why you got, it won't come up on this. There you go. So that's kind of what it looks like. It's really super pretty. And I do, oh, oh gosh, there's more. So here's um, leaves. Ah, the red ones are just not coming up. I guess it's kind of like a, a weird color with the camera. So these are just leaves. Perfect for the fall. Cute hearts. Again, this matches its mate, but most of them don't. There's that one. And then this one. I'm so excited for this one. So, oh, there's another. And, oh, yeah, there's this one. That one. So super cute. I'm so excited that I don't know how many that is. Maybe you kept count. I didn't. I was too excited showing you guys. Okay, so the next thing is just making sure I didn't leave anything in the box. So, okay, the next thing is the machine, which looks like this. It says Cricut, or <laughs> sorry, I also bought a Cricut too. So, this one says cuddle bug. And on the side, it's so pretty. It says N Griffin. And then cuddle bug. And then it has the um, spinning thing. I can't think of the name. Wow. I'm. Jeez Louise. Oh, and then on the bottom, it has grips. So, when you open the sides. Um, it grips to the table, but you have to kind of do it really hard to kind of grip it tight down. Like I said, this was an online exclusive to HSN. Ann Griffin um, partnered partnered up with Provocraft and created the Cuddlebug 
version of this one. So you can't get this one in the stores like Joanne's Craft Warehouse. Um, I do believe she said you can only get them on HSN. So that is why this one is not like the rest of them. Like color wise, it's a little more bedazzled-ish. And it's pretty darn heavy. Um, my box said uh, this package weighed 12 pounds. And I'm pretty sure the bulk of that 12 pounds, at least 11 pounds of it, is this. Uh, I, I'm actually really surprised at how heavy and how like firm it feels. Like it feels solid, which is really nice because I just saw an orb. Whatever. Um, something else is excited for me too. So that is what this is. Um one thing sorry I keep feeling like somebody's staring at me through my door um so one thing I will say about these is they're really thin I have never really played with uh cuddle bug products or other um, um embroiderer stuff so I don't know if I'm just thinking it's really thin or what um but to me these are really thin and this right here is really thin and when I opened the first one it broke like the seal broke right here which is totally fine because you're just lining you're just putting them like putting paper in here and these flat and the two pa platelets on and then cranking it through the machine to embroider it so it's not like oh you broke it it's ruined so they're still it's still workable um, other than that, I love this so far. I haven't used it, which I'll do first impressions video later after I do a review on my other thing I bought. So, anyways, bye!